Okay, so uh, it's something I need to do now. A little small little thing is, of course, right now, got a little bit of a problem where uh, as it just flies by, like these should be squares, not triangles. And I'm pretty sure that the reason why that's happening is if I go to the loader for models is that I'm betting that the source file is exporting quads. And of course, I'm just importing the triangles of those quads and then having a little bit of a uh, problem with that. Um, so on the importer, where it opens the file, if I say like AI triangulate or something like that, AI process triangulate, I'm going to bet if I run that, it's going to fix it. If that's the case, then what I need to do is I need to also add, yeah, it's a bunch of squares. See, that, that was the problem. That was the problem. Uh, what was the other file, right? If I check data, bring up data sets. Render mesh is currently using uh, render state on mesh index 13. So resources state camera. That's the only thing that's there. Okay, resources. What's 13? 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. It's cube tower and sphere tower. So if I was to change that to be from 13 to 14. Um, change that to 14. Now I find the spheres. The spheres are going to have this, probably the same issue unless I did them as... Okay, the spheres won't, but that uh, monkey head will. I forget what its name is. The I process triangulate. I'm going to bet it's fixed, right? Do -do. Yeah, it's fine. So yeah, I need to... I need to for the importation of meshes, I need to change it up and I need to make it specific to, because right now it's just saying like mesh, um, mesh V1 or something like that. Actually, where do I even bring this? Yeah, okay, it is an external, good. So I can do that. Um, yeah, if I go back to here, mesh, it's just like, you know, mesh v1. Not very descriptive. I need to change it up to actually be a lot more descriptive to say, like, this is loaded, you know, this is the asymp mesh v1, realistically, rather than just mesh v1. Unless I really want to tie mesh v1 to just as the asset importer library not entirely sure if i want to do that mm, or yet mm. especially considering these are still early days i mean everything i have is like yeah it's shader v1 whatever kind of generic Okay, first of all, it's update meshes to have not just an external file. Oh yeah, see that's a bit of a thing. Because right now it's it um, mesh v1 handles both external files and arbitrary shapes. Maybe. I go to graphics v, yeah, graphics resource libs for sorry source for mesh loader and I go down it is oh yeah yeah see mesh cube okay mesh cube source and stuff so it is kind of split across several types. 
So go to like yeah, mesh file source, cube source, and that. I don't have to do that. Like I don't know why I did that except as a like first. Okay, I know I did it. I was trying to be I was trying to be smart, and it was really dumb. I really should have like you know said like this is you know imported mesh, imported asymp mesh v1, and then you're gonna have like a, a, a cube specific type and a sphere specific type. Yeah. Instead, I try to mesh them all together, trying to be smart, which was really dumb, and kind of got myself in a hole where it's a little bit of a maintenance nightmare. I mean, it's not yet a night uh, nightmare, but I guarantee if I started like actually trying to do anything more, this would have become a nightmare very quickly. What I can probably do. is hmm. okay so what part of this do I want to do do I want to add the flags first or do I want to split up the import types I think I'll work on the flags first now uh, for Vulcan I do have some kind of a somewhat neato uh, thing for importing arbitrary flags uh, value serialization so let's just go with an early one just version 90 of the headers so I have a couple of like VK serialize parse parse and serialize takes in a string okay and then it has sets of arrays like this um close process are the flags defined in here yes they are hmm. one two three four mm, there's a fair number of these but these are flags yeah What's this? Convert to left handed. Is it defined that contains three things, three or four things? Um, well, going to and from the file doesn't really require these. these hmm. okay going back to this why do I have okay the reason I have these set up like this is I don't remember. I include Vulcan, so I have the Vulcan stuff. I don't know why I don't like have just undefined and then like VK image layout undefined here. Unless, okay, I do remember why I did this. The idea was that you'd be able to build oh yes okay now I actually do know the reason was if you had a computer with an older version of like Vulcan like version 90 which you know has let's say version 90 didn't have a few options and you only went 0 to 7 on typesets or something you would still be able to import and export these values Previously, uh, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
That's the, uh, I don't know. You'd be able to import and export. Yes, you'd be able to import those values and then re-export them from a like a newer or older version. I mean, that was the justification. Now, whether it was possible is a different matter entirely, especially when uh, there's like... Well, no, they are... They don't actually need Vulcan to work. They are entirely independent. Huh. Okay. And they're on the, the source side, not the header side, so... What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to import... Do something similar for the these types so I can import and export them and you can so in like the file in the mesh file it will actually say like uh, in the mesh file it'll actually have like you know uh, flags or options it'll actually say hey you know it's triangulate and whatever else so on and so forth as options so let's do that so close all that up I can kind of do this do I want to ascend importer and I can do like flags because I need to be able to pass flags in but I can just I don't have to like they just have to be a uint Type, right AI post process steps unsigned int Let's just start on something. I'll figure it out on the way, as usual. So we'll need some functions. Serialize and parsing. Now, why are these different exactly? This is because it's cat. It's uh, doing casting around. That's what these are. So realistically, I only need these two functions: parse and serialize. And yes, these are by me, so I don't care if I'm copying them over. And this is 2021. What's the idea? Serializes uh, enum flag type. Okay, I don't actually need to. I know the exact type because this is this is also like a working across all different types. I don't need that. I just need the value and then the return string. Um, or, uh, yeah. Serializing requires Press that and the parse is the other way around. I'd be like string and then I 
like that. Nineteen two. Standard eight. Four the event thirty twos. Otherwise, I don't actually need to know what the flags are or ask them for anything at this stage. Nor do I need to even for this. No, I don't. AI scene is just a pointer in this in this case. So I can still keep it completely separate from everything else. I like that. Space that will hold the uh, enums and stuff, or some kind of something uh, arrays that I'm going to store some of this stuff in. And then we, of course, have the functions down below. Let's have a look at this. Um, DK serialize. This will be like at the bottom. Serialize. What do I do? If type is empty. Okay. If flags and flag bits. There's nothing. It's not a. Do we have. Um, these are bit masks, aren't they? So these are all bit masks. So I can just kind of skip to that. No enums here. Um, and it's basically this. Serialize bit mask. Congratulations. So I don't really care about that. doesn't exist that was to iterate through the different so that first bit was that like literally go through like each of these types which I had like a pointer list sitting here actually right here yeah the enum types and you could literally like that was the <laughs> that's the name that's like a pointer to the array which is sitting somewhere else or should be or no, no, that's the type. And then there's three of them. It's 131 of these. Each one of these is a pointer that you would cast to and from. Or would it? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, it would be the actual pointer to the array of that. So I don't, I don't have to worry about that. Literally, all we're doing... Here is one of like um, value set. Processes. So I need to include post success star h. I can just I'm just going to use this directly. So it's just going to be that. That's literally it. Name and the flag. So we can just directly correlate between the two. I think that'll be fine. Numpair. We 
equals that and we're just going to kind of um, we're going to have a definition and use a macro for this pair definition for x Ooh, that was an interesting thing because I kind of got rid of the underscore I, AI process or whatever. Can I remove in a macro? Can I remove the first something characters? Um, let's see. Macro remove first character. I don't think so. But since I would actually know beforehand precisely like what the uh, start if it is because it's always going to be AI process right yeah yeah mm -hmm. always going to be that and I can actually build that into the parsing in whatever code mm, I'm not really caring about these presets So it becomes what? It's going to become, it just opens with this. Then we have the string of the thing, followed by the thing, that, and comma. The pair definition of several things, and then we close it up. And we kind of. Really elegant. Oh well. That was left handed. Translate move component. Generating normals, generating smooth normals, splitting large meshes. Pre transform. Limit bone weights. Um, I've never really looked deeply at these before. Use 
need a few more. So, optimize graph. Really? Uh, why? Is this really like... I understand this. Um, okay, hold on. It built fine. It's just really playing havoc with the uh, that. Can I just, do I have to do this? Yeah. Okay. Um. There we go. That'll fix that. say like you know um uh, constant expression int and we say hey you know what's the prefix length it's like what one two six seven eight nine ten Okay, this was finding that, which I don't need to do. So a return string is that. We have a return string. If not equal zero, and return string is empty, leave, yeah, okay. Uh, this is because the there could be zero values for these things, but there aren't for this, so I don't have to do that if. True. Uh, we don't have to worry about that. Start and end. Okay, now I need to kind of go back to VK serials or bit mask, parse bit mask, or serialize. This is serializing.
Uh, we're already in C++ land, so I'm just going to do like that. Or that, which is times however many. Times what? Mm. So the what? 30? I could just say this dot begin. Just iterator. We're just iterating through. Okay, great. Fantastic. Do that. Close that up. Okay. While flags, if flags equal zero and that not equal empty, then break. We're done. Because we've emptied out everything. We've got to go through. So iterator value and flags value equals iterator value. So if the value we're sitting on in this e and flags equals that, that means we found one. So we can add this. Equals iterator dot name dot substring of that starts at prefix length. And then flags equals flags minus the value. We move through. Why did I do it in reverse order? Oh, yes, I do know why I did it in reverse order. It's because for in Vulkan, there are some values that are like multiples of others. So like there, there'll be, uh, come on, there's gotta be something around here I can use. Not really. Okay. Well, it does. You got to believe me. There's some that do exist which are like combined of like two or three items together rather than just all three split out apart. Come on. Four, two, no, that's right. Yeah, here we go, like all graphics. So if all of these were combined, then it would also match all graphics. So then rather than having all these separated, you could just put all graphics in. That's why I had this. Am I gonna do that here? No, I'm not I'm not gonna bother. Those those prefix types at the bottom. Eh. I gotta do the serial uh, parse of bit mask, which means we do this. So, Equals zero, just return. True, we're done. There's nothing to parse. Stripping the vendor type. I don't really need to bother with that. So we can just go through for auto. Okay, hold on. Start character, end character. We go through until we find these for separating the types. Yeah, okay. If we 
can't find the value, return false. And the character is not equal to hmm. actually yeah that's true we can just use that so start or um, begin end starts is currently at start and we just go through yeah What does format string do? It does nothing. And here we go. Trim left, trim right, and uppercase is the wall. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is a problem because none of these are uppercase either. Crap. Oh yeah, thirty. Sorry. Maybe like is this supposed to be like a double doubled up like that? No. Great. Can I not do this? Access elements in struct initializer. Open that, that, and close. Okay. Okay, let's uh, let's question whether I know how to do anything ever at all. So we're going to have like this is a string. Then we're going to have that as that. Then we're going to have a second one. Same thing. That. Like, am I? Okay, I just need a second one. Because that's 
how it rolls, I guess. Uh, 29. 30 and 31. Okay. thing which is going to do the format string which is going to do all of that it's going to trim left trim right replace spaces with underscores don't aren't really needed don't need that but I still two upper everything and I'll two upper this as well And then we'll do a comparison. Name and value, okay? Just make it easy. Bam. Okay, format string. We're parsing. We try to find a value. What does this do? Okay, how do I do this best? So for find value, what I'm thinking, I have the token, it's tokenized, it's trimmed left and right, it's capitalized. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the prefix to it. So equals prefix which is AI process that okay prefix length is or size is just part of that so we'll just add that so Token. Okay, back down. So find value. How do I do this? I'm going to plus that. Stringify to that. Plus that. Equals the new token. That's the full thing. And we're just going to roll through. Can I find so through four? Through the
constant prefix, constant also slags. Go through them. Can I find a match? Thing is there. I'm going to have to do it for all of them. I'll just do it for all of them. Format string. If uh, temp equals token, then we found one. And equals true. We'll break out in a second. Once we get this, we're going to add so. It's not even that, it's yeah, post process. Is it UN32 or is it in 32? What was it? Just double be do be sure. Unsigned int. Okay. They should be the exact same as whatever that is. Publicly. Uh, or equals that. Thank you. Breakout. Return Return failure. That's that. And then once we're out of the here at the end. We have to have another case, basically you're rerunning through the exact same thing again, just because if we're at the end of the string. Oh yeah, and we need to either end equals that or end we've reached the actual end of the string and start does not equal end.
Start eight does not equal end. Compact. I like it. I like it enough. Okay. I need to be able to test this realistically. Is I do not. Okay, got that. Test of tests. That links into that one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we got that. Why am I still in the, the, this branch? This branch should be complete. Um, hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll, I'll add this one thing and then I'll sort out my branching nonsense after. There's no test in there, but it is running. So that's good. This will equal, let's say, whoop, that, yeah, it'll go away. Triangulate, that's a big one. Or, sort by P type, that's a, that looks like an interesting one. 
the last one, Gen, and the first one, realistically. I should have all of these. Understand. Oh, it's the uh. okay, that. <sighs> See what that looks comes out to be. That should fail. Perfect. Now I'm just going to Okay, uh, it's obviously in the order of the flags, but they are there. Calc, triangulate, sort by p-type, and get bounding boxes. Nice! First try with using the basis of my old stuff from last year. Still first try. Um, serializing, parsing. So, could I just have just done that? I could have just done that, yeah. And... We could have just done that in a separate section, actually.
So this will be empty. This is zero. Like that. First value is correct, which would have been Tangent space for that. Okay. Now we want to kind of do the opposite. Uh, so we're going to have to do some things along the lines of, hey, section. Let's just split these up a little bit more, shall we? Make it a bit more readable. Uh, section. First value equals five. Const char to parsing. That's why. Last value, last even. Is that which means that cross section of enums? We'll kind of put these in here, but we'll mix them up a little bit so. first as well. Make sure this equals this. I'm expecting a failure and yes we got that. Why did this? So, uh, okay, which ones failed? All of the parsings failed. They had things to do. Interesting. Let's do a test for libs. Stick it here, just about run. Great. Mm -hmm. uh, come on through again. We've got the string of calc tangent space. So let's see how this works. Mm 
where are we? String plus five. So just keep going until we either hit here or here. Okay, we're here. It's got the token, which is that. We tokenize it. Calc tension space. Ooh, I see my problem. Okay, I'm only uh, upper uh, casing it uh, for the uh, bit that I don't provide here. So I need to change this to tokenize that whole thing. Like that. Oh, no, 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 because no. uh, I need to format the string like that. Okay. Equals. We're going to do this. Or equals that plus token afterwards. Before or after? Does it really matter? The answer is no. Not really. Let's try this again. Okay. There we go. Okay. Casing, so we got like G and we got a lowercase t and then the LC and a lowercase c, e, and we got spaces on this and the tabs on. Whoop, can I actually change that for an actual tab? Sure. New line, new line, tab, some spaces as well. There's a new line here. Whatever. Just a bunch of craziness. And we say, hey. Does it find it all? Does it? Yes, it does. So then we just add a bit of white spaces and stuff going on to this one. New line, new line, tab, and tab, space, tab, and G, PT. type that's correct that's correct okay now we've got a section for um, the existing fails False. So 
So we're gonna do triangulate and swap the p type. Let's say it's that and that. That should fail. It will also fail for uh, there's another um, yeah. Can I get, uh, do I have, we don't have code coverage. Let's get that on so I can actually see it. Make J that, make, um, make that, CCOV that. Let's see if I can open that in Chrome while that's happening. What? Ah, uh, okay, uh, okay. What do I add for code coverage? I forget. It's something. Uh, not good, not good, not good, not good. Code coverage. We're adding something for CCOV clean. Oh, that's what. Nope, no, no, that's so. Okay, no, no. Okay, that was my bad. I just didn't put make on there. Yeah. Okay, it's building everything else at the same time anyway, so. Do, 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 do. It's doing them all? I thought, hold on. Oh yeah, okay, that's it. It's doing that, there we go. Uh, it just takes a bit of time to get back into the swing of things. Code coverage. Okay. What do we got? We got almost the whole file done up. Three branches I do not cover. Somewhere, I presume. Not that it's going to show me. Wow, it went through a lot of stuff. Which branches? 8,000 times, okay. One, it went through that one. Yes, yes, yes. It went through everything at least once. So this is, should be fully covered to my mind. Okay, I don't know why. Whatever, I'm happy otherwise. So I think I will call it with that for at least adding the flags. I got to do other things, of course. Okay, not that. That hasn't been added to that yet, no. Mm -hmm. Okay.
have robust enough, have basic. Before I do this, put this to the side and I want to go back to here and add some descriptions. That's true. Something for pass. That so we don't need C standard in for that as well. Double check that flag unsigned int unsigned int correct. Okay, so we got that. Now I want to add the ability to actually use those things that I've done now. Okay. So uh, one thing I want to do here is that it will take that and it'll take post process flags, which we will accept. Take it in there. Be passing that in instead. this which should be in the mesh loader right there um, we like PCI post process flags which we're going to be adding to here for uh, sorry, not material mesh. Wherever this is, that's great. About that.
to them. Yeah, more read required. So we're reading for the moment. So that means um, optional. Process external file mode, and we'll add CI post process. Or no, it'll be temp. Takes in a string, and then if empty, it doesn't really matter if it's empty either. Concept of model asymp at this point. Ooh, crap. Well, it will now. For for the moment. Uh, If not, then we can uh, throw, you know, Great, and we could do similar for writing. Do this. Have e file mesh post process flags. Let's see what I used. We'll have if not, then we can. process mm -hmm. 
otherwise, so if we throw it, otherwise we're gonna the ammo, right, optional. It's gonna be post process. Uh, the default data is empty. Otherwise we're passing it serialized. Is that it? Follow that. That going to work, or you cannot? Okay. Okay, there we go. Mm. Not quite. Parameter loader requires this, of which I have nothing to pass it right now. Pass it again. Okay, well, let's see what uh, decides to fail right before my ah yes the wrong thing to be testing good good it passed the thing i was not hoping to test so that's going on that's still that so if i was to go into the sphere one and add uh, It works. Oh yes, it works. Okay. Uh, changing this back to I believe it was thirteen gives me a bunch of triangles. And then if I go to here and I change it up to be you know triangulate. Triangulate. So we're going to have proper boxes again. Wonderful. So that's basically mesh loading fixed up. That's been something that's been on the radar for quite some time. Fix mesh loading triangulate. Good. So uh, this, 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 this. Post process flags, that's great. Mesh, yeah, not so great, but to get the data this is the latest right yeah okay
fix the use of basically oh, that's unfortunate that really is basically a submodule but I don't want to actually have a submodule because then my uh, I'll fix it after this as something as something else Okay, an hour and a half. I think that's a pretty good night. And I guess I'll call it there. Cheers.